wipe, wipe it down, wipe, wipe, wipe. Wait, this is not the real situation. A mirror should reflect the same as the object. As you know, light moves in a straight line. So when light hits a shiny surface like the mirror, it will reflect back. These are the law of reflection. Light reflected fulfills the law of reflection. The first one is the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line all lie on the same plane. The second one is the angle of incidence, which is known as I, is equals to the angle of reflection, which is known as R, causing a parallel beam of light towards the plane mirror. Even after reflection, the light rays will remain parallel. The image produced by a plane mirror is upright. Next, the image produced by a plane mirror is also laterally inverted. Not only that, the image produced by a plane mirror has the same distance and the same size as the object. Lastly, the image produced by a plane mirror is always a virtual image, which means that the light rays produce an image behind the mirror. But in reality, there's nothing on the back of a mirror. It's just our perception. Oh, what is this? Now I can see it clearly. Uh oh, it's a pimple. Do you know why the image produced by that mirror becomes bigger? Yes, it's because I'm using a concave mirror. A concave mirror is curving inside and is one of the types of spherical mirrors. This is the side view of a concave mirror. The yellow line is the principal axis, the C is the center of curvature, F is the principal focus or also known as the focal point, and the P is the pole. As I move closer towards the concave mirror, I appear to be magnified, which makes it easier for me to check what's on my face. This is the virtual image since I'm located in front of the focal point. But when I move farther than the concave mirror, I appear to be inverted. This is the real image since I'm located on the focal point or behind it. This image happens when I toss a parallel beam of light towards the concave mirror. After reflection, the light rays will converge to a point. It's easier for drivers to drive cars safely with the invention of this mini round blind spot mirror. As you can see, the image in the side mirror is quite limited. We need to turn a bit our head to get a better view while the convex mirror that functions as a blind spot mirror will take up a bigger view. A convex mirror is curved outwards. This image happens when the parallel beam of light hits the convex mirror. The light rays will appear to diverge from a point on the principal axis. This point is known as the principal focus, represented by F. The convex mirror creates a virtual image since the image is standing upright. The image produced by a convex mirror is diminished, which means that it is smaller than the object. Convex mirrors are used in the making of magnifying glasses and road safety convex mirrors. We shouldn't vandalize any public property as what you can see here, the road safety convex mirror has been vandalized and now we cannot use it anymore to see the junction better. I'll end my presentation with a quote. Compare less, reflect more. Goodbye.